Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you why I'm done telling these kids what to do because oh my goodness, things have really changed around here. First of all, it's morning and we are just waking up and as usual, our kids always, always wake up before us because we work so late into the night and they, since we put them on a schedule when they were like two months old when the, in the beginning, they always wake up at 7 a.m. like clockwork. So thankfully they wake up and they know how to keep themselves busy. Our health help is away on leave because it's we've closed school and it's we just like to release her to go home and have some time with her own kids as well. So today I am mama and one thing we have been doing lately is teaching our kids a lot of habits because we've been very intentional in how we just want to inculcate some habits to, to their lives because we know that these are going to help them in the future. So if you stay tuned until the end, I'm going to show you exactly how we are doing this. I have a fantastic chore chart that we use for our kids and I'm going to tell you exactly how to get it. But first, let's have breakfast. For breakfast, I am making scrambled eggs with toast and some oranges on the side. Guys are hungry. They've been busy playing in the morning and they cannot wait. So about uh, the beginning of this year, we started actually writing down a chore chart for our kids and explaining and showing them how to do certain tasks around the house. Just because they are homeschooled, um, we also have to really be very careful to balance between doing chores and also doing classwork and also having downtime and playtime. So we figured just having everything written down for them would help them be able to keep track of what they are doing when. And this has really helped. Like one thing they do is they set the table for every meal. Each one sets a table because we have three meals a day and we have four kids. Our last one, <laughs> our last one has not started setting the table because what happens is whoever sets the table for the meal also wipes it after the meal and sweeps under what, you know, the kids post up when they're eating all the time. So that's one thing they also do. So now one thing I am struggling with is, how to actually get our fourth child to do this, seeing as we have three meals a day. Um, and we know that this is an important task for him to do as well. So just you'll see along as the video progresses how they do this in, with other meals. But yeah, if anyone has any idea how you can get our last one to also get to do this, I'm very curious because I've, I don't know how to do it, guys. If this is a kind of content, just making motherhood magical here, we are all about doing things, about running the home, making delicious food for our family, and also just managing our families in various different ways. If this is your kind of content, remember to hit the subscribe button. Also to remind you that our website is up. So many recipes so far. We have more than 100 recipes. We are always adding recipes, at least a recipe a day so far. And we have so many fantastic things for you to pick from there. And also, if you would like a meal plan, 
we have monthly meal plans now available for you i'll put the link in the description below august's meal plan is amazing especially when kids have close school guys are loving it and don't forget to check that out as well so to encourage our kids to wash dishes one of the things i like to do is so far especially when we don't have a help and schools have closed they wash their own dishes that they use so after i've done i'm done cooking the meals i make sure i put water for washing the dishes and water for rinsing the dishes in the sinks so that when they finish it automatically becomes nature for them to when they take their plate to the kitchen there's already water there for washing there's water for rinsing so they do it automatically and this helps me to just avoid keep telling them over and over okay don't forget to wash your dishes no? that's also another thing that i love about having a chore chart and having systems in place because if there's one thing i got tired of doing is telling the kids man do this do this do this every single day so setting up such systems for them helps them to become more self-driven and also i'm going to share with you something that has really really changed how we handle our kids with teaching them habits and just training them to be more responsible yo i'm using these laundry pods for our laundry because we love them they make life so much easier another thing i also like to do is to use oxyclean for basically it's like bleach for your washer and for and you can use it for both white and colored i love it so much but today i'm also going to use it to boil our bathing towels guys don't worry we don't use these pots for cooking but we use them for sometimes heating water for showering and also like today I, I like to boil the bathing towels especially for the kids like every so often just to just to you know sterilize them and this works so well and even the clothes that we use for for like wiping the table i boil in a separate pot works so well as and everything is linked down below so one thing we've started doing at the beginning of this year is being very intentional with the habits that we are pick, we are teaching our kids as i mentioned and we have a whole list of them that we want to work through with them over time so what we do is we take about four habits and then we just really really talk about them and explain them to our kids with a lot of repetition my husband started this idea of having a session with them every morning before they start class our kids are homeschooled but in that session we just really go through okay these are the habits we're focusing on let's talk about it how do we make it happen in our day-to-day -day lives how do you handle this habit how you know and all that just really taking time to just to have a teachable moment and to you know just to explain and to teach them because i don't know i used to think that kids will automatically know that neatness is important or being orderly is important or paying attention is important but actually we have to be very intentional in teaching them so let me show you how one of these sessions goes goes about how it runs Okay, what did you read about water? Huh? That water is important. Mm -hmm. And God created water. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, mm -hmm. when God created water, fill my bottle every day, mm -hmm. drink it, mm -hmm. and use it well. Okay, you're right, you're right. Yes, so there are two things. Talk the about water. four new habits. Who can remember the four new habits? Me, order. Order, yes. God. Modesty. Modesty, good. Uh -huh. Being tidy. Neatness. 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 Very good. Neatness. neatness. And then the last one was consistency. So we talked about consistency, neatness, order, and modesty. And we said consistency is we do the same thing wow. over and over again without fail. We brush our teeth every day consistently. We wipe our faces every day consistently. We shower every day consistently. There's no day we say we are not showering. I got a question recently. Someone was asking how we have taught our kids to learn, to love reading. And it was actually asked on Instagram, but I thought I could also address it here. For us, one of the things we have done, and I'm not saying we are perfect, you guys, please. Nobody's perfect. No one's kids are perfect and all that. That's a caveat. But one thing we have done is to make reading part of, part of their chores and also to lead by example. Normally, they have a session when school is in when school is in session, they read in the morning before they start class. They have read like a chapter or two of a novel or a book. 
and also in the evening after dinner because you don't watch television during the week we'll also have time to read together as a family but now because schools are closed they will read in the morning they have a morning reading session because in the afternoon when schools are closed they get to watch tv all they want <laughs> which is fantastic so yeah that's how we are managing to do it if you have any more ideas on how to teach kids to love reading or to just teach them habits please share down below so we can grow together For dinner, I made beef stew with roast potatoes and cabbage. And also, we love having dinner as a family. You guys, it's one of those traditions that we are really trying to inculcate in our kids' lives. We love it so much. Guys, check out how this boy is sitting. <laughs> One thing I came to learn when I'm teaching kids to do something is to not so much focus on that they do it perfectly or that they do it the way I would do it. So I've really had to learn to bite my tongue when this boy sweeps because what now what styles are these seriously? So I'm grateful that he's sweeping and over time we'll get it right. But <laughs> well, it is what it is, man. And before bed, we are going to brush teeth. We are going to, you know, pick out our clothes for tomorrow. We have a time to pray and just have a, a time for devotions before guys sleep. And this is just one of the things that really ties up our day. And lastly, before they sleep, they make sure that they have filled their entire church chart. I'm going to pin the church chart right here, guys, in the pinned comment if you would like adult adult it's a free downloadable by the way you can just download it for free we are going to have one that has exactly what our kids do and also a plain one in case you just want to print and add in your own your own activities that your kids are doing because i know families are different thank you for hanging out please watch this video over here as youtube thinks you will love it and i'll see you over there bye